As many of you know, this device is called a plasma globe, and you've probably been fascinated by all the coloured streamers that pass from the ball in the middle out to the glass globe. You may have even tried touching the globe with your finger like this and seen that most of the streamers seem to get attracted to it. But did you know that the glass globe is filled with very low pressure neon gas and that the voltage on the ball in the middle is about 24,000? Now, let's try a couple of experiments. First of all, a fluorescent light bulb. If we take the bulb close to the globe, but not actually touching it, you see that the bulb lights up. Take it away again, and the bulb goes out. I've also got a simple strip light, and if you watch as I bring it close to the globe, again, not touching it, the closer to the globe you get, the more it lights up. This now looks very much like a weapon that features in a series of well-known space movies. If I now take the strip light away from the globe, it goes out, just like the light bulb. Bring it closer and again, and it comes on. Take it away again, and it goes out. Now, let's repeat all that, but this time with the lights off. You can now see the streamers in the globe very well, but you can't see the strip light until I bring it close to the globe. And there we are, perfect. It looks even more like the weapon than it did before. Take it away and it goes out. Let's now try with the simple light bulb. Already lighting up, you see, as it gets close to the globe, it lights up, take it away, and it fades away. And let's look finally at the strip light. It lights up when you bring it closer in, and it goes out when you take it away again. You may wonder, what is the physics behind these experiments? Well, it's all to do with electric fields, but I will cover that in another video.